guys. guys Don't even we, know the episode. Are number. we here? I think is it episode. I keep thinking episode two, just because. Why am I so? Close I'm not even friend? sure. I'm really nervous. We haven't done this in so long. Am I even good at it anymore? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Are you? We're gonna find out, I guess. Uh, okay, so fear the Walking Dead. Things are getting That's crazy cool. now. There you go. Things are getting crazy now with are the Fear they, the Walking are Dead. Are they getting crazy? I bet they're super crazy right now. This show is going down harder than the Abigail, man. I'm so wait, wait, let me guess. You two have not watched any of it yet. Nope. Um, uh, I'm not even going to front. I, I'm, nope. I'm having cable issues. I'm really... Uh, I'm, I'm wish cutting, I knew I'm cutting the music picture. off. You don't even get that rad of an intro. <laughs> I'm having cable issues. No matter how many times I plug it into the wall, it's not turning yeah, on. I don't know. It, it's very so neither strange. of you have uh, have watched no. Fear the Walking Dead. A little bit behind. Uh, just a little. I like like the way you say that, yeah. Oh. We're a little behind. As in not going to watch it. I, well, I won't say that, <laughs> but that. yeah, probably. I don't know. I, oh, I might. I might. I don't, I don't care. My attention span is I like the way Preacher wrapped up. Did you guys You guys finish watching Preacher? Nope. I haven't. No? I want to. I am awful. What have I done uh, this summer? I've you've done You've been watching nothing. The Flash. I've been watching The Flash. Which is a very, very good day. You know, good very use good of show. Your time. I'm hoping we're going to talk about that a little you later. Guys like really the, I, I'm, I'm two episodes into it. the first season. I'm not going to lie, Matt. Every time you would bring it up in the past, I would sort of like internally roll yep. my eyes. I'd yeah, be like oh, CW. Is that really, what that feeling was? The, yeah, I thought yeah. the same thing. Like I was. Like, I always, the, you know, like but two episodes in, I'm, I'm liking yeah. it. It has its cornball moments. I'm not going to lie, but it's, it's very. You go satisfying. back and listen. Every time I make a disclaimer, every time I talk about how much I like the Flash, mm-hmm. I talk about how it's on the CW and it's kind of a teeny drama kind of show kind of thing. But it's it's good. It's, it's good. got its angst, but I mean, it's you know, really they're good. like mid, getting into their late twenties now, so yeah. they're adults. It's just like silly love shit between him and Iris. But it's I, I was play, especially when you get like halfway through it and on, because you go to the point where like now you're seeing like a new villain every episode, and it's kind of like a regular show. But once you get to like the ongoing story with the yeah, overarching, yeah. you know, it, it gets really good. It's got some really like touching moments. Mm-hmm. That's how bad Fear the Walking Dead sucks. Like we can't even. So for those of you that tuned in that have never listened to us. You might never like us now. We, for those of you that are regular listeners, hi. I imagine you got that little notification in your trade that like popped up and said "Fear the Walking Dead" or "The yeah, Walking Dead" and podcasting. We're so dead sorry, is, yeah. but we just wanted to talk to you guys. For those of you that don't know mm-hmm. us, we'd love for you to subscribe. Hi guys. We Hello. do love The Walking Dead, and we talk about that in depth. But "Fear the Walking Dead" just got to the point where I just can't even. Like I don't even look forward to it. The first two episodes this season were just kind of. Eh. It's like season two of The Walking Dead. In one episode, uh, with the first episode, it's just Nick wandering through the desert, and some people might like that. But I mean, I'm like, I don't want a whole episode of that. Oh, speaking of Walking Dead, wandering. I said wandering. He's have, he's curious as he goes through the uh, desert. Who is? <laughs> How did you, this start? <laughs> have you uh, have you heard the new rumors mill going around about who dies in the? Uh, I've heard premiere? it's Glenn and Abraham. Right. That's what, the, and that makes a Glenn lot of and sense. Abraham? Exactly. Now that's the kind of reaction that they're going for. That's the only kind of possible outcome that I could imagine would be worth the shitty season finale. Right. I still is, want is Carl that, to die. Is, I, I still think it would be the best. It had the best because they keep he saying it's going to die. They keep saying it's like going to reverberate oh, okay. through the Walking Dead universe. So I'm going to need Carl to die because that would, you know. And how do they mean reverberate through the Walking Dead universe? I don't like, know. Wait, is it I think I might have everyone? said that wrong. Like, that's what. That's the way they're. Playing. No, I imagine like, this, it sounds. I imagine they say that. that sounds right. Completely changes everything. To which there's only like two solutions for that. For me, it's kill Rick or kill Carl is the only way you're going to completely. They say it's a complete game changer. They well, need to kill to one be... of them in real life and film it. Now that is whoa, a game whoa, changer. Whoa, whoa. What? I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> is, is ISIS going to kidnap one of these people? Oh, whoa, whoa. Nobody whoa. said anything. Okay, okay. I think we're all getting just a little, little overboard here. If Just ISIS little. has to come in and kidnap one of them... We don't want it to happen. We don't want it to happen. I'm saying, this full disclaimer, we don't want that to happen. But if it happened, the viewership would go through the roof. But it should never happen. It should never no, happen. These are zombie apocalypse survivors, a bunch of angry... Oh, but how many... Ooh, that's... Money. So what about all the... Um, all the terrorists, I thought, and I thought, organizations, thought that. stuff like that. Well, like over other seasons. I would actually watch f- that more than I would fear the Walking Dead. We're talking about that. Um, we're talking about surviving in a zombie apocalypse. And I was like, you realize... It would be way scarier than that, which, you know, because the gangs, um, uh, terrorists, uh, military, like terrorist organizations would take over. They'd be the only ones to survive here, right? You know, it would be terrifying. You wouldn't just, you know, but I guess in the Walking Dead world, though, the dead outnumber the living like 5,000 to one. So it's pretty much they're saying the it's kind of like Stephen King's A Stand, like almost everybody's dead. There are some. 98% or something like that. Yeah, it's like, you know, but. 
So I don't know. But yeah, the Fear of the Walking Dead. So if you really, really wanted to hear Fear of the Walking Dead, we're sure you're going to hit that dislike Some button. Stuff we has apologize. Happened. Some people have died. Let me just give you we're reasons why. Let me, it, let me, I'm going to, I'm not going to do any huge spoilers here, but I'm going to do a little, few little spoilers because okay. that's what y'all get. It's a little bitty. For little bitty spoilers. Number one, apparent, this is the reason why I, the, the big issue. I know that this is a fantasy world and there's zombies. I get mm-hmm. it. Dead people eat living people. It's a fantasy. But at the same time, yeah. man, have some rules. Like this show is so loose on what infects you. So in episode one, we see Nick get stuck on top of this, like, vehicle. I guess it's like a van or something. And he's surrounded by zombies and evil dogs. Evil dogs? Yeah, but they're not zombie dogs. They're just, like, hungry dogs. They're trying to eat him. Then the zombies roll up. The zombies eat the dogs. Then Nick proceeds to wait for the zombies to leave, hops down, and eats the remains of the dog himself. Huh. How stupid is that? I mean, I thought saliva was what infected you, and that these zombies are spitting and bleeding all over the food, and then he gets down and starts pulling meat off of the food. Like, you're not going to tell me. What if it turns out that he's the only one? That, well, there actually uh, is some. There is some. No, well, there is someone, and you'll meet in episode two who claims to have been bitten and is the only person known to survive. I'll meet them if I watch it. If you mm. watch it. But yeah, I don't know. Like I, I hate how loose they are with that. Though, like I deal with it with The Walking Dead because I enjoy the show so they much. So but loose. my God, they're, they're whores. They're the loosest show I've ever seen. They're the kind of show that every guy wants to take to prom. <laughs> Yikes! I've got a really bad spot of poison oak on my left ankle, and it's slowly creeping up my leg. I kind of think that's sort of what it'd feel like to get bitten, you know, and slowly start. Getting oh, that's infected. so bad. I feel bad for you, man. I, I hate poison. I don't oak. know if zombie bites itch as much, but. Uh, I imagine I have it does. a few chigger bites on right? my legs. That sucks. Oh, uh, chiggers are the worst. Are chiggers a plant or a bug? They're I keep bug. talking. They're little they're mites. Yeah, little but everyone little. talks about chigger weed. It's like, like a, well, they, they they live like on this. <laughs> Go ahead and giggle, Matt. Go ahead and giggle. All right, just... Chigger weed. <laughs> So that was the most southern I think I've ever heard you right there. Oh, you should. I have my I, moments. I, I, so JP's got got plenty of southern qualities. You I, work. I, I, Jim, JP blesses me with his presence at the gym, mm-hmm. and a lot. JP's very southern at the Pokemon gym. At the Pokemon, yeah, gym. Right, 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 right right down the road. That's one of my Poke friends old, texting yeah. me. You get some of those Pokeballs, poke bro. <laughs> oh, I am God. out of Pokeballs. We went to the beach about two weeks ago. Used uh, them all up, in South Carolina. And I mean, oh my God! There were so many Pokemon I've never seen before. I don't know if y'all play Pokemon. Anymore. I don't. Know. But there were so many Pokemon. Now do. I'm out of Pokeballs. Oh. oh dear. My dad is all right. My dad is like a man's man. Like he hunts, he fishes. He was in the military. The kind of man that he another man really hands. wants to be with. Right, right. I don't know about all. I never understood <laughs> the saying "man's man." I never understood. That. He is. Well, I guess. I guess when they say "man's man," it means like he's a manly man. He's okay. a man that like men want to be. Like he, you know, he's the the image of a tough guy. Like. Don't cry. The brawny paper towel guy. You know, yeah, right. That's what I imagine. Yeah, yeah. Cut his okay. cut wood. I don't oh, okay. think he does now. You know, the cool. technology has provided him. It's the, true. But you know, so manly man. And the other day we were over there, and he's like, "I almost got a Pikachu, but I'm out of Pokeballs." Ah, I'm like, "Oh Things my god!" You everyone never is, heard your yeah, dad right. say. Like, everyone is playing this game. Yeah, I so. bet it gave you a hard time when you were a kid and you had the Pokemon cards and the Game Boy, and now the tables have turned. Why are you just wasting your time? Son. That's funny. <laughs> it's like we're out there. He's gutting a deer. Like, come on, son. I don't want to go play with your little Squirtle. Pokemons while, no. while Daddy gets us some dinner. <laughs> 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 was it that? Was it that kind of house? Did you live in like a log cabin traumatic. in the woods growing up? <laughs> It was dramatic. Dad's trying to catch dinner tonight, son. (laughs) One day you'll understand. (laughs) Those hitchhikers, they shouldn't have been there. (laughs) Oh, Oh, gosh. (laughs) This took a left turn. Or oh, a wrong turn. Uh, that's a bad uh, that's my drum. I didn't see that. <laughs> Gotta have those sound effects queued up. Damn it. What happened? Yeah, we so we just basically wanted Don't to get on here. Don't do the creepy whisper again, please. We wanted to uh, get on here and just talk to our uh, our listeners because Touch we miss face. you guys yeah. so much. How are much. you guys? It's good I mean, it's, it's been a while. So over. <laughs> Delayed. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. But like you know, we just wanted to say, hey, we hadn't seen you guys in forever. We pretty much never not, seen you guys. I've never even not seen you yet. Guys. Only seen you guys ever. Christian, the guy that made that really cool. Oh, that was the, the, the winner. Really and, uh, the, our our Facebook pal that, that likes us so much. What's her name? I oh, can't remember. She crafts. She does Hold crafts. On. We're gonna get. We're gonna get this information. Nocturnal Island. No, there it is. Well, no, with a K. Yep. Her, but there, there's another gal on Facebook that likes us a whole oh, lot. That's right. I've oh, actually yes. friended her. No, there's yeah. another one. Hold She's on. I saw you friended her. You, yeah. I, I saw you that, and I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a Up the creeper factor. It's like we get one comment from this girl. Next thing Dare I see, you. JP is now friend. Justin Parrish is now friends. We, with- we go back and forth a lot. She's got wonderful taste in many different things. 
And she lives in Texas, and you know how much I like Texas. How much do you like Texas? I don't really. Yeah, you know. No, you say we you know. Have but literally, we've never, never, never said never anything about it. I gush Texas. about it all the time before we come on air. Oh, well, what started your love of Texas? I was thought it you preacher? were talking about. I bet no, it was the, uh, What's an old episode? The Hershey brownies with Kate, ice cream. Caitlin Howard. That's, That's the one. Yeah. Shout out to and Christian Caitlin Athens. Howard. If if, if, if if our friend JP has creeped on your page or may cause you any discomfort, then please let us hear. Keep dealing with it because there's nothing we can do. If I've been creeping, believe me, she wouldn't know because I'm a really good at creep. You got to creep. You got to keep it on the down low. Yeah. Oh, man. So who... All right, we're going to go back to The Walking Dead now. We just figured we'd take about a half hour just to talk because, you know... Because we miss you. If you, if you. if you came here thinking that this was going to be Fear of the Walking Dead and you're still here, you can't be that angry with us. Apparently, you're liking our banter. So go on and hit that subscribe right. button. Unless so, you like fast forward a couple minutes and all of a sudden you're at this point, but still stick with it. Right. Game of Thrones and Fear of the uh, Walking Dead and mm-hmm. actually a nerd show that we're getting ready to come out with. A lot um, of stuff So lots learn. coming that we are going to stay mm-hmm. on the Our studio right, is going to be popping. It you is. Know. I can't wait. to. Do I get to hire like a temp or something? I can hire an intern, uh, We'll right? get an intern. Oh, absolutely. Okay, yeah, yeah. We need just someone to go get us stuff. Right, gopher. You know, a gopher. Run across to McDonald's and get me a mocha chino wapa. I can get us a gopher. <laughs> mocha chino wapa. It's like, do you even like those? Yeah, no. you just blend it. Right. Then, I don't yeah, know. I don't even. It didn't get it, and you know, just throw it. Mm. We have two hundred subscribers. We don't even need that. I don't need this. We have, do we have? I think we have more than that. Hold on a second. We might be over two hundred. We might be like two or what? four guys. Uh-oh. Uh, all right, so all right, I want to hear anybody's predictions changed for the. Uh, now, I'm still sticking the, with Carl, baby. You still think it's Carl? Yeah, I like the idea of uh, of uh, what? I don't like the idea of that. You don't. That. I, you so don't, who don't. do you think they'll kill first? Do you think they'll kill Glenn and Abraham will jump up, or they will kill Abraham, Abraham, and then everybody will be like, oh, that's such a sellout. It was Abraham, That's and then he'll kill Glenn, and everybody will be like, what just I happened? I think what he's going to do is what I could see. Okay, I just I hope, and I know they don't, but like I, you know, I read Stephen King, and Stephen King's one of those writers, and a lot of others. I'm not, he is one of those I'm writers. I'm not going to oversell him, but you know, that put like little, every little thing he says will come into play later. Or mm-hmm. you know what, better yet, forget Stephen King, like George R. R. Martin, Game of Thrones, everything they say and do will come back around in some way, shape, or form. So I don't know. I you know I'm hoping that maybe, like what they'll do is you know how Glenn jumped out of line yeah. and Negan was like you get one. It was an emotional moment. I get it, you know. But he was like nope. So maybe Glenn will jump out again and he's going to say, look man, I gave you you know like after he kills Abraham, you know he'll go, I gave you a warning, didn't I? You know, and then he'll kill Glenn for jumping out of line. I like to killing see Abraham. We only have like another. Mm, we got like a two month. We got two uh, months. Two months. Yeah. So it's towards yeah. the end of October. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 We're getting yeah. towards the two months. But like, I wonder how it'll play out if it's them. If it'll be like Glenn's getting his head beat in and Abraham jumps up, or if it'll be Abraham and Glenn will be. What if he kills Glenn and Maggie together? See, I think they're going to keep her because they got to have that strong female role, and they got to show that. That's what we got descent the show for. into madness. I don't know, man. She doesn't descend. They into haven't madness. been doing enough with me. Show. That's what I wanted Glenn to do. I wanted them to kill Maggie and let Glenn descend into madness because in the comics they kill Glenn and Maggie gets super strong and is honestly much better off without Glenn to be. She really. She's is. not a victim anymore. She's much more of a leader. You know, she leads the hilltop. She's. You know. at, at this point, all I'm really, really hoping for is that after Negan bashes someone's skull in, he puts the bat between his legs and rides it around like a horse, like Happy Gilmore, remember? And he's oh, just spanking the yeah, his yeah, butt, yeah, yeah, and he's just with dancing around. Oh, he's spanking his butt. I'll yeah. say he's spanking the bat. No, no. He's spanking his bat butt. Yeah. You know, Henry Rollins actually did audition for that role. The guy who, who is Negan, Henry Rollins? From, from um, the, him, the, 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 the lead singer yeah, of the Henry Rollins band. Talking. They he was Rollins who they band. designed Negan after. Like yeah, I he, remember you he, saying they were that, designed yeah. him, you know, off of Henry Rollins. That's kinda like Charlie Chaplin losing the Charlie Chaplin look alike contest. Yeah, all right. Fun little trivia for mm-hmm. you. Even though he was really old when he did do that, but still. He he died a lot he was alive a lot longer than I thought. Mm-hmm. He yeah, he was around for a while. He was around like hmm. in the 70s. We've lost Gene Wilder, which is oh, sad. Just oh, yeah. the other day. Like I, a lot of people think of him you know, think of Willy Wonka, which I guess is probably his most iconic, but I think of young Frankenstein. See, I That's think of the one. Frisco kid. Oh man, good guy. Or the Waco kid, I apologize. I just like the candle, you know, when, he, when she lifts the candle. And have you seen Young Frankenstein? Yeah. And he, the wall, he's like, lift the candle, and it flips him around. He's on the other side, and he's like, put the candle uh, back. No. I can help you with that hump. <laughs> what hump? <laughs> Very Nothing. good move. It's pronounced. What is it, how does he say Frankenstein. it? Frankenstein. And then Frankenstein. he's like, it's pronounced Igor. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, what's the guy's name? It's Marty something. Marty. I didn't Crawford realize he was actually like. Bug-eyed yeah, he did like that himself. That, that was amazing. He bu- he made himself bug eyed. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, could he like do that with his yeah, eyes? Oh, they weren't permanently. No, like no, 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 no. He could do that. Oh, Ooh. wow. He had to do that, like bulge it out and everything for like hours on end. Wow, <laughs> damn. that's dedication to your craft. That is dedication. Holy crap! Have you all seen Suicide Squad yet? Yeah, I saw it. You you didn't tell me this. Why didn't I? I don't know. I I'm think pretty we sure are I... both a holes because neither of us. Yeah, no, us neither one of you call me when you go to movies, <laughs> and I tell you repeatedly too. And, and it sucks. I go, I go and see a lot of movies by myself because I have a lot of people that when I go see, they don't know how to shut up during a movie. Oh, see, I don't talk. I went movies. and saw Sausage Party with a dude that I really like. I told him during the during the trailer, I was like, "Shut the up." Was that really good? Uh, I want to see it. Yeah, it's funny, but at the same time, it's Seth Rogen, so it's. I mean, it's. I would never dream of letting a child see that movie. Like, it's rough, dude. Mm-hmm. And there's a couple of preachy moments in it. Like, you see the kind of agenda they're trying to get by. What are the they message. preaching about? The whole bitch's message of acceptance. Oh, of just, you know, yeah. acceptance. Yeah, exactly. I've had it up to here right. with tolerance, believe uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Well, man. for future reference, I like when I'm watching like The Walking Dead or Game of Thrones or anything, I'm like, everybody, shut up. Mm-hmm. Like, in my parents' house, I have a little niece. If she starts crying, I'm like... Nice. Did you just make a gun? Like, did you just shoot? No, that was a remote. Oh, I thought that was a yeah. finger gun. No, that, that was, was like, holy gun. hell! That was the remote. That'll going. shut you up. <laughs> That'll definitely do it. Ooh. So, how? Since I'm the only one that hasn't seen Suicide Squad yet, how was it? I have not heard anyone suicide. straight up say it was good. It's not great, but it's not terrible. I there was Jared a, Leto's I felt Joker. like there was a awesome. great movie was awesome. buried mm-hmm. in there. Yeah, you know, I, I agree with the, that. Yeah. I heard if they wouldn't have cut so much of him, it would have probably been a whole lot better because mm-hmm. he doesn't I have agree. much screen time. Literally ten minutes of screen time, if that. I'm like, well, what's the point? They, I think they cut down a lot of it because it's only it's, it's under a two hour movie. Mm-hmm. So I think, and they, it's also PG thirteen. So I think they cut a lot post production. Was Ben Affleck in it? Yes. Yeah. A couple of times as Batman and as Bruce. I Bruce. really like him as Batman. The Flash is it? We get our first full view of the Flash in costume with all of his powers and everything. It was sweet. On Suicide Squad? It was sweet. I'm pretty mad at JP. You didn't even tell me you went to see it. Yeah, man, that's really messed up. You did not because you had been sitting there saying, I want to go see it. I was like, I hope Yes, you did. We talked about it in the channel. How does it feel to be you right now? (laughs) No, we did not. I'm positive I mentioned it. (laughs) Mm, Nope. Because I would have asked you already because I haven't talked to, I haven't got to talk to Matt about it. I haven't talked to anyone that's actually seen it. So I know for a fact we we had that conversation. Mm-hmm. It got lost somewhere in we your didn't. in your memory. In but translation, we had it. Mm-hmm. you know. So yeah, I feel bad. I put something on Snapchat, and he was like, "Dude, let me know if you're going to see a movie. I'll I'll, uh, I'll go." And I was like, "Oh yeah, man. yeah." Nobody calls me. I'm sorry. I'm like, when I go to movies, I just want to see. And you the movie. work like super early, so you're usually off when I'm off. Oh yeah, I get all. I'm I'm out of here anywhere between two and three. That's awesome. Most days. When you go into work at like five or six. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm. It was a first shift. Is that what you call that? Uh, yeah, it's like swing I would say shift. So. Yeah, well, I come in right around like, but somewhere between five and six. Uh, are but, you the first one here? Mm-hmm. All right, last one. Unless I'm running really late, then Aaron's the first one here. But nice, good old Aaron. I'm trying to get Aaron to watch anything that's good. Um, he won't. He, 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 he watches as much of a TV watcher. He, well, no, he is, but he watches things like The Hundred and Grey's oh, Anatomy. Oh no, why? And dude? Wentworth. What, and, is, uh, what is The Hundred about? I've never uh, don't heard of that. Just, just it's don't not good. I watched, the first, I watched the first three or four it's episodes. It's the reason the CW. It's the reason why you don't like the CW. Yeah, exactly. No Hundred cast. We're not going to do that. No, no, no it's not good. No. I didn't like about it. About people that were in space. What's bad is my sister tells me that sounds amazing. No, but it's not. It's not in space. It's not set in space. Oh, they were put in space for a minute while the Earth was. What was happening to the Earth? Uh, purged or whatever. So there's only like a hundred people alive. It's Who's really purged? crappy. But it turns out there's more people alive. They don't know what well, uh, an AI. I'm just going to ruin it for you. I don't give a shit. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's a terrible yeah. show. My sister. I have a guy at work that loves. What's it. bad is is my sister. We eat um, we eat every Sunday at my mom's. My sister comes up. She's like, I found this new show on Netflix. Me and my hut, me and Trey love it. You should watch it. And I'm like, what is it? Hoping it's going to be like The Flash or, or Stranger Daredevil Things or something. Or Stranger, like that. Oh, things, Stranger right. Things. Um. And she goes, the hundred. I was uh, like, she goes, you don't like it? And I was like, no. That's like the equivalent of someone telling you, like, you need to preface it before telling me a show you like and then me finding out it's on the CW mm-hmm. is the same thing as someone being like, hey, I, I read this on the internet that this is going to happen. Like, here's a here's an example. Yesterday, a guy at work was like, did you hear they're making a movie? Uh, it's a female Brokeback Mountain remake, and it's Emma, Robs- Emma Watson and Margot Robbie. Oh, is it the... Or like when people go, they're making a new Friday movie, and you're like, no, someone made that movie poster be- that 
on Photoshop. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They'll. Oh, sorry. I, it's I like the, the picture of the each character is from another movie. Yeah. And they were like, I read this on the internet. This is happening. And uh, and I was like, Oh, where? He's like Facebook. And I was like, Dude, don't. You can't believe start anything. Start it with telling me that right. you saw this on Facebook. So the Wetback Mountain's not going to happen. Oh, <laughs> that would be a great title, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> well, I think if people might get confused. Why? That's more of a derogatory term. Yeah. For me. About that, right. Who? What? Yeah. Yeah. If you, you know say that? Wetback Mountain. We are not calling anybody a wetback. We're just no, saying that's what, that's what the a derogatory that's, term That is not a racial makes. slur. Swear, you just made that I, up. Nope. I know. Oh, yeah. You know what? I did make it up. Next time, it's actually a really a term of endearment. You know so what? Next How time a Mexican person comes yeah. to your work, you say, how you doing, wetback? I absolutely you Go ahead. Will. Let's see what happens. Oh, and by God. the way, we are uh, auditioning oh, for God. a new third person yeah, to replace I, Justin. I don't know if you guys are crazy. I don't know if uh, that's a maiming term of, or something. No, gonna happen. that's a term of endearment in the lesbian community, and it's totally fine to say it. A wetback? Yes. Are you sure about that? I know it for a fact. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I want you to call up one of your lesbian friends and and, and get lesbians them to verify because we all have at least three or four. The right. lesbians have never had a greater friend than me. That's huh? all I'm saying. <laughs> the collective group. Yes. <laughs> they have meetings every Tuesday. And they love me. Mm-hmm. So just to make sure everyone still loves JP. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All those opposed, no one opposed. Shut up, Linda. You're a bitch. <laughs> so that's, yeah. I've never liked Linda. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but oh. yeah, so I don't know. But yeah, so I'm glad you two have seen Suicide Squad. Well, was- I've seen Fear the Walking Dead. So. Uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, I thought one, you know, we both got the mo- we both got equal enjoyment out of our respective viewings. Did you guys love Stranger Things? Everybody's I watched that. Seen it yet, oh, man. Everybody right, here's what I'm going to say. I told say. you, I don't know what I'm doing. Was Stranger summer. Things really good? Yes, I really enjoyed I it. Great it. acting, but I think that it's. I don't know how to say this without every. You know, it's just going to sound like I'm trying to be a hipster, but it's like the cool thing to like now. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like the cool new. I think it was great. Like I give it a nine out of ten. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Great, great score. production, great story, great act. The little kids that acted in that were the best of all. Like those four I've kids. Heard that. Well, five if you include um, what was her name in, Eleven, in the show. Whatever, the, the, she number. had a number name. Right. They all were great. I just didn't think of her because she didn't really have much of a speaking role. She just kind of pointed and things died. Mm-hmm. But. Spoilers. <laughs> no, it, it's a lot. You mean the bald headed girl that. is gonna the, 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 in the hospital gown is gonna have some sort of powers, <laughs> <What>? right? <laughs> like the trailer doesn't doesn't at all show her flip a van over them on bikes. But, I thought that was just an act. You know, she. Uh, but I mean, the kids were great. They said that the first time they put them together was like the very beginning scene. And like they, they just from the beginning nailed it. Like you, those kids really do seem like they've hung out forever. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, Winona, R- R- damn it, Ryder. There you was go. Was it Winona? Winona, Winona, Winona I can yeah. never say her name. Right. She did great too. Um, everyone did good. good. For but her. I thought it was a little overhyped, to be honest. I enjoyed it. I hear they might make another second season. Yeah, they, or something. they've already cleared it. Yeah. Is it going to be like American Horror Story, like a whole other thing? No, or it's continuation. Be a continuation. See, that's what I was wondering. But yeah. it'll be nice to continue it. Yeah, I enjoy. I just it. read this stuff. I, I guess I read the internet all day. That's all I do. Yeah, because I know these things. I never see these shows, and everybody's talking about Stranger Things. For, for all sure we know, you don't even watch The Walking Dead. You're just reading synopsis. That's, that's dumb. I, of course, I watch the show. <laughs> I think I, I think love that blonde haired Rick, <laughs> right? And yeah, Nick and uh, and. Um, and Mike Cohn. Little, mm. little sweet Carl. Yeah. <laughs> little sweet Carlito. Yeah. But yeah, no, I liked it. I thought it was great. I mean, it's one of those things where if someone says, would you recommend it? Oh, 100%. I mean, it's definitely a, a worth your time. But I just, I, I just feel like I've seen it before. It's very Steven Spielbergish, and that's what they were going yeah. for. But I mean, it, it just, it reminded me a lot of Super 8. That's what they, uh, Super 8 and like those movies from back in like, uh, yeah, like Stand the Close by Encounter me of the, and, and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, the, yeah the, I definitely could see Stand By Me in that, like the dynamic between the, the kids. I never the saw kids. that. That was a good me? one. Maybe I did. Will I Whedon know. was in it, right? Will Whedon, Jerry O'Connell. God, uh, they were so young. Uh, Corey Feldman, I think, was he in there? Yeah, I've seen bits and pieces on USA. I don't know if I've ever watched it's it. It's a all good movie. Once. Definitely one you kind of need to have in your like classic movie. I've seen oh, that. Yeah. Ben. I have to, have to stop it's, by Blockbuster on the King way home. Movie. Yeah, stop by there. I will. Um, oh, man. You're going to have to go a long ways out oh, your way right to get to the like the feels. Oh, I miss it. I miss the Blockbuster experience. Going in with your friends. Like you, you go down the aisles and you're reading the back of the, you know, like mm-hmm. the, the the box, and you, you're like, eh, this sounds kind of stupid. Let's get it. Yep. Trying to hurry up and get out of school as soon as possible so you can get to the blockbuster on yep. Friday night before all the good movies are taken. There's still an operational movie store just a stone's throw across the state line, like a movie rental place. I live right near that. Eden, mm-hmm. we talking about? Mm-hmm. It, 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 I like, I like open, a couple right? miles from that. Right. Yeah, but it's. I mean, it's a. Uh, 
They don't. Well, yeah. no, I live it's like, like it's like I missed the uh, blockbuster experience, and it's like, well, then you got to well, bro, bro, Netflix, <laughs> because man, Netflix. It's 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 cheap. I mean, it's like a dollar ninety five for like a movie or two ninety five for Blu ray. Mm-hmm. If you want to rent a video game from, and they get new movies and stuff, but if oh. you want to rent a video game, you have to put down like twenty five, thirty uh-huh. bucks deposit. Oh God, just and then you, you get steal, that right. Yeah. So you get that back mm-hmm. once uh, you bring the movie back. But I was like, that's okay, I get it, but that's that's just a hassle. But yeah, it's called Family Video, man. It's pretty amazing. I want to go you in there. Free popcorn. Can we go after the show? Yeah, let's go. It's only like a 30 minute drive from yeah. here. What are we going to rent? Uh, well, that defeat, that, I guess that, that's the whole experience. Myself and some of JP's mutual friends that we've known for a long time oh. but never knew each other used to go into Blockbuster with the sole intention uh-huh. of finding the cheesiest, most terrible horror movies you could ever find. And then watching them. Monos, and it was awesome. The hands of fate. Oh, God, that's terrible. Um, there's one about, God, I got to get the names of them. There's one called Sick that I'm not going to claim it's the most horrible movie ever, but I think everyone should watch it because it's it's just so terrible that it's awesome. It should be more classic than it is. Those witchcraft movies were Sick. some of the first boobs I ever saw. Sick. It's, it's got a yeah. clown in it. Macbeth was the first boobs. That- it's, it's, it's really good. Check it out. Sick, and it's Sick. got a clown. It's you got you a caught clown. me on clown because I found I find clowns either hilarious or terrifying. This one is hilariously terrifying? terrifyingly oh, nice. terrible. I remember seeing the cover for that one, but never rented. Well, it's it. just it's 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 just one of those that they, they didn't tr- they wanted it to be a serious movie, but there's not a lot of thought. Like for instance, they go into the woods and there's no magic, you know. But there's like this black box that's about the size of this room, and he steps into it. And I guess they didn't take into account we should probably. You know, measure this bad boy. So they step in, and they're like the insides, like the size of the studio. Like the you know, and they're like, "What is he doing out here?" You know, it's just it's really bad, but it's really good. You'll enjoy it. It's the, really bad. The acting's really terrible. This one girl pulls her shirt off, and redu- oh, she, has, on, she has nipples about as long as my pinky. Oh my god! Wow. <laughs> we used to call her thunder nipples when we watched it. It was thunder nipples. Sounds like a superhero. <laughs> it does. Did they just get mesmerized? I mean, they're probably condu- you know, they probably are like them. lightning poles. Bing, bling, bling, bling. So she oh, shoots no. it out of her fingers, like it comes in through here. She's like, "That's pretty cool." Harnesses the energy of the earth. She's like, "Give me your power." Her divining rod nipples. Yeah. I wonder if that was the inspiration for species, because I think like she had nipple projectiles. They were like tentacles. Natasha that would reel you in. Yeah. yeah. She had those torpedo titties. Yeah. Oh, man. That is like this. That was, it's such a strange such feeling a being terrified and aroused at the same time. You know. Well, that was most of uh, of age eleven through fourteen. Right. Right there. You're watching it, and you're like. Boobs. Oh, right. and then like the scary shit's happening, and you're like, yeah. "Why can't I get rid of my boner?" <laughs> so, <laughs> so funny. Is there something wrong with me? I you don't get know. up, run out the room. <laughs> like, am I a psychopath? <laughs> yeah, it was a really tough childhood. I mean, yeah, yeah, that would be a tough childhood, right? But that totally didn't if happen that, to any of if us. If that happened to any of us, if it did, but it didn't. So totally not. I don't even know why we're talking about it. Yeah. We've have I've had Justin in the uh, why do I keep calling you? It's because I have you on Facebook now, oh, and I yeah. see He's that referring pop to up. yourself in the third person, <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Justin, had, we've had JP in the gym for the last few months. Uh huh. Nice. Getting getting right strong. Yeah. You want to feel on me, Matt? Just feel on me. Just just feel on. I me. see the cut right there, man. Looks yeah. good. I'm gonna touch a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Wow, that's tight. Yeah, that's really tight. Justin been working. Feel man. all that, dude. Let me squeeze that a little bit harder. Wow, I've, I've, that's well, amazing. Yeah. Let me get both of those arms. That's mm-hmm. a, wow. Why are you undoing it? Holy pants? cow! I'm <laughs> just no kind of checking out the. There. Yeah, there is. There's leg muscles. <laughs> Hold on one second. Whoa! Incredible, dude. Incredible. I'm telling. At least once There's a week. There's nothing now, gay about this whatsoever. No. Justin asked that's me amazing. if I can feel it in my butt, and I never thought our our relationship would get to that level, uh, but. Uh, <laughs> Never thought we're, talking just about squats. we're talking about squats. Uh, well, I imagine that's what Those I we have to do in my living yeah. room. <laughs> no, no. Oh, there's wow. candy. We have started getting Matt, on track. you should join us. <laughs> <laughs> the way that you put it, you make it sound so much fun. No, yeah. mm. oh, brother. But yeah, we've had JP at the gym working out. It's, it's, it's better it's than been. my normal afternoon routine of uh, sleeping. Mm-hmm. And, uh, good. Yeah. Smoke a big old doobie and then pass out. I'm a bowl guy. Wake up. Okay, but, uh, there you yeah. go. There you go. Sometimes so, you're bong, sometimes you're a rig. You never know. Man. One hitter, chill them, peace pipe, uh, dugout. I'm trying to think anything else we got. What did I miss? Mm. Rap. Mm. Uh, did you say one hitter, quitter? Uh, kind of zoned out. One there. hitter, quitter? That's, good. That's a good one. Rolling's too much work for me. Well, have you seen the guy on, on YouTube that can like put the flat paper in his hand and then put the leaf in the paper and just oh, do my that? Word? And it's it's rolled. It's amazing. How does that happen? Uh, sorcery. Either, either CGI, sorcery, sorcery, or just a lot of practice. We're talking about taquitos, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Deep fried. Make mm-hmm. you feel alive. Mm-hmm. Those taquitos. 
So Fear of the Walking Dead, not a fan. I'm going to continue to it's watch nice it. But I'm going to catch up on it. You yeah, know. I'll I'll try. Just it's for the not, sake I'll of say this. this. It's not a god awful. I mean, there's way worse. Like the hundred, way worse. Nice. I would watch Fear <laughs> the Walking Dead all day over the hundred. Um, it's not horrible. It's just when you. It's just I can't watch it without. And I, I tried. I mean, you can go back and listen. I tried my damnedest for the longest time to be positive. I'm like, well, they're going somewhere. But at this point, I'm like, just bring in Robert Kirkman or Scott Gimple and let them oversee the writing. I mean, the biggest sin from that whole thing. There's just so much potential they had with the, you know, being able to go back in time like that, and they just didn't. They didn't take it. They didn't, didn't do anything with it. Time. Yeah. I mean, the, he, Robert Kirkman could have had a chance to step in there and do some kind of origin to like. What, I know he kind of wants. I think he wants to keep it kind of ambiguous as to what started everything, but still, it would have been cool to like see something. I don't know. Like, I'm like you. It's like they could have done so much more with the going back to the beginning. That's what I'm saying. And like, now we're just into the zombie apocalypse. The first thing so. we should have yeah. seen was that guy from the uh, the disease control center or whatever sending out that last message before we blew everything up. And this group of scientists see it, and they're like a mil- militia scientist group trying to figure out what's going on, but they can't. That would have been good. Yeah, now that would have been cool, right? Mm-hmm. Like military scientists, like like we're gonna figure out what happened, even though they can't figure it out, and all this stuff's happening. Because and- Rick and them, no, nobody in anywhere is trying to figure out what happened. Mm-hmm. Everybody's just trying to figure out how to survive. Here's an interesting question for you guys: okay. what do you th- How do you think The Walking Dead will end? Oh, boy. Robert Kirkman has said that he would like to see it actually end on a positive note. You would think kind of like a uh, Game of Thrones thing where, you know, George R. R. Martin said there will not be a happy ending, you know. Uh, Robert Kirkman's like, I kind of would like to see it end on a positive note. You I, know? I think the first baby will be born and immediately die and not turn, and that will be how it ends. I mean, it will oh, be sad actually... that the baby's dead, but it didn't Or come somebody will light. die and not turn. You know, if they could survive, they, they're bound to be able to to just, if they could last a few years to survive, like, the zombies have got to just rot away. I mean, every season they become more and more. Even still, but the, still, the, the there's issue the fact of, if they yeah, die, they'll, if you die, they'll period, turn. you're coming back. Yeah, yeah, the animals feed off of that, and the animals turn, and the animals spread it back to the humans, and it's just a vicious It's fight. one of those things where he doesn't really have to give a reason why, because it's one of, it's like we've seen, you know, we, we've had so many origin stories for zombies, it, you know, he just kind of like, all right. Bam! Zombie apocalypse. Now let the mayhem ensue. You know, and it's always it could be a throwaway thing. Like it's just a virus that mutated into something yeah. more. I mean, you know, started with some rats on a ship. Here's something cool in the comics. Did you know that they uh, showed Rick's brother? He's over in Spain. Ooh, it huh? was not in the actual comic. I, I mean, was it was in, kind of like how the Negan thing was in the preview. Yeah, they had a. Um, I have to look. I'll show it to you. It was like a some kind of companion something, and it was a comic. And the guy name. Basically, he kept saying his his name, his nickname, which sounded kind of Italian, and maybe it's in Italy. It's Spain or Italy, but it ended up his name's his. He's Rick's brother, and he's surviving over in Spain. And I'm sure they'll put that into like a little one shot issue. They usually yeah, do that. They need to do that with the Negan. You still yeah. haven't seen Negan's origins? Yeah, well, actually, I'm sure they'll compound that into that a one shot. But you're you're reading month to month now. It's got to be yes, a nice I am. Yeah. It is. I, oh, I it's exciting. I had been reading the hardcover to hardcover, but that's like six months in between. And I was like, man, I can't do this. And then you know, it, it constantly JP's like, man, if you could, something big happened last issue, man. So yeah. finally, I was like, screw it. I just went in there and was like, Jenny. I'm going to get all the walking Got dead. him in the comic shop got... now. Now he's like a smackhead. Nice. Yeah. Is it the one that's like right down it's there? Right there. No, it's right there. No, it's, it's door, connected literally right to like next this door. building just oh, about. Nice. Yeah, it's 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 not nice for my bank account. Right. Oh, dude. Like I, I want to go over there. There's a uh, Doctor Strange Funko I had her put on hold for me. Should I, I go really want to go get it. What time do they open? What time do they close? They close at six. We got plenty of time. Oh, oh, dude, dude, we check should it go out over there. Let's go. Absolutely. All right, well, that was fun. Well, was this fun. was a great episode. Let's get to the comic show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, uh, so, you know, we just wanted to say, hey, to those, like I said, if you are listening this long and you're hearing this, then obviously you didn't hate us too bad. Yeah, so appreciate click that. click subscribe, and even though, you know, we didn't really talk Fear the Walking Dead, you know, but those that we do did. listen regularly, we, we just wanted to and come in. And just have a taste of what we're moving towards, like a broader, like, geek out kind of nerd cast. And we'll TV have more structure. That's, yeah, that's know, what we'll, we're going to we'll discuss as soon as we uh, we cut this mic off. We're going to come up with some kind of nerd mm-hmm. type show. We're going to try to cover, you know, a lot of things. Yeah. I mean, maybe try to try to cover, you know, video games, uh, you know, mm-hmm. all kinds just, of stuff. Like, it'll be nice where we know, each like get like a little times, segment but, you know. and then we kind of comment on it. And I can't wait to tell you about it because that's what I was telling him yesterday. A cool idea to get it started. Um, we got a cool format idea for how to do it. And so, yeah, lots yeah, coming. Yeah. So, so, so exciting. Summer vacation's over. Time to get back to work. Oh, it really yeah. is. Uh, I love summer. Vacation? Summer, but, uh, not for me. Right. But. 
I, ch- I, I told JP numerous times. I was I like, see you, man. Hey, you man. try to get all that honey down in Myrtle Beach. I see you on Snapchat. Oh, yeah. With the yeah, little yeah, bee yeah, filter. Yeah, yeah, I've only seen yeah, it twice. But yeah, I get bored, that. man. You looked at me like I was freaking crazy. You were like, what is he talking <laughs> like, about? Well, no, I looked at you crazy because my favorite alcoholic beverage is American Jack, and oh, Jack and Honey. Jack Daniels, oh. Tennessee Honey. Uh, Jack, I think it's just Jack Daniels, Tennessee Honey. It's like Jack Daniels and Tennessee Honey. They just mix but, it together. <laughs> but that's my favorite. So when you said that, I'm like, how did he know that? <laughs> Like, because that's what I was drinking at the beach. You say I never call, but I'm always listening. (laughs) And he goes through your trash outside your house. And I go through your trash outside your house, yes. Oh. You really should shred your bills a little bit better because you do all online banking? (laughs) (laughs) Actually, it's scary because, yes, I do. Uh Oh, (laughs) Oh, all right. (laughs) All. Just by process elimination, I'll figure this out. I'm going to get out here and change some of my info. We're going to change names pretty soon. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. But yeah, so uh, I was at the beach, and I'm going back to the beach this weekend, and then my summer will officially be done. Mm. I'm just I'm a summer person. I hate. I don't like sweating. It's been a hot summer. Maybe by the time we come back for The Walking Dead, I will have seen a movie with one of these guys. Yes. Mm-hmm. And not a porn. The ultimate, though, at least it, it, the <laughs> ultimate would be if you guys were going to see them together. <laughs> and I would yeah. be like, dude, right? like, dude, he's never going to figure this out. <laughs> be like, what the hell? What the hell? He still doesn't know. I yeah. yeah. Cool, man. I, t- I thought That's I saw funny. J- That's I thought I saw JP's head when the Snapchat turned in the that theater. That would have been funny. Yeah, I saw JP's head just go. <laughs> there was no one in that theater for right? for Suicide for Squad. For Suicide That's Squad. That's crazy. But then once it started, the trailer started, which is crazy. Who comes in during the trailers? Don't who doesn't Ooh. want to see all the trailers? Uh, before we go, I did see that movie with Jonah Hill, War Dogs. Oh, how was that? I like that. Why did you call me? Come on. Because I was in Myrtle Beach when I saw it. Was you going to drive up? It's only like five hours. Uh, You're right. With the new, not bypass. We got up there in about four and a half, uh, but we left early on a Sunday morning, so it was no traffic. But yeah, Um, I liked it. The guy I went with, it it was my girlfriend really liked it, and the guy that had originally wanted to see it, he said it wasn't what he thought it was going to be. I kind of wanted to see it, but now I wasn't super excited. And I left there like, I was like, man, that's awesome. It's cool. kind of a anticlimactic conclusion. Okay. I can't talk. Like I say, I talk in the morning, so by evening. It's a very anticlimactic. Climactic. God, oh, this is great. Bless, I can't talk. Anyways, the ending. One more just time. Kinda, One more time. No, you got it. No. I believe it. The ending's just kind of, you know, level. It's not. Well, it's what? Really. What would you call it? It's what? It's the opposite. Anticlimactic. Of- <laughs> <laughs> anticlimactic. <laughs> yeah. God, <I> <laughs> Tune in to the radio between six and nine. I can it talk goes a so lot much better. better. It goes so smooth. God. It sounds but yeah, it, it was a good. No, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it uh, it was. I enjoyed it. I would recommend it. All right, War Dogs. Jonah Hill plays an awesome asshole. He's he is an asshole, and he's pretty awesome at it. Is so, he an yeah. asshole in real life? I don't know that for uh, certain, but I just imagine. I just after seeing this is the end. You know, they portray him as such a nice guy, and uh, you but know. it's all fake. You, that's yeah. the way I love how they play he's fake nice. And just like Michael he, Sarah is the ultimate crazy guy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Which I would believe that. Strung out on He TV. had a voice in uh, Sausage Party. He was oh. the voice like the small hot dog. God bless Seth Rogen for still giving that guy some work, yeah, you know? Man. Good for him. <laughs> I mean, because is he doing anything now? <sighs> probably like personal viewings of uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the world or right. Arrested Development, but that's probably it. Nick and Nora's oh. Infinite Playlist. Ugh. Hmm. But, yeah. yep, so I don't know when we'll be back. At the very latest, we'll be back when The Walking Dead. You, I still, we've said a lot of things we don't do, but I think we should do a live stream uh, for the first home. episode. That would be cool. I'd like to do that. Like, we should do a live stream. I'll be here. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll live stream it, we'll watch the episode, and then we'll come back and podcast immediately after for, like, our first ever live podcast. Ooh, that would be really exciting. Like, 30 minutes, 30 minutes leading up to the podcast, we can get on and kind of live stream and chat with our listeners and stuff like that, and then we'll, you know, be back as we we'll go watch the episode. Because um, I don't think they want to watch us watch the episode. I mean, I'm sure you, if you listen to the podcast, you probably want to focus on the episode. Right. And then afterwards, get on for a live Podcast that would be see cool. if we can't pull a few people away from fear. I mean, um, the Talking Dead. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. It's so, close. Yeah. Hard work. Sorry, sorry. I'm starting, to, I'm starting to bury the hatchet with his body, but um, yeah. you know. But yeah, so something. But if nothing else, we'll see you when the Walking Dead comes back. We just oh, figured yeah. we'd jump on here and holler at y'all I've for a little you while. Guys. I've Hello. missed you guys. I've missed everyone out there, but I've definitely missed you too. Mm-hmm. Here we are, and there we go. Bye bye. <laughs>